Good morning. Technically, I guess it's still morning. I'm coming in from an easy three mile recovery run. Typically I'd take a rest after my race yesterday. I ran the Liberty Station 5k I've been training for. If uh, you want to watch that video, check it out from the link. It was a great experience. I'm so glad I trained for that event. Yeah. So, uh, I'm done with that. That's history now. I'm on to the next thing. And for me, that will be an eight miler. I'll be running this summer, the first week of August. I know, hot, right? In Balboa Park, which is a historic park and it's a historic race. Eight miles. I think it's the 75th time they've run this race. It should be really fun. It's all inside this beautiful park. Very, very beautiful park. In uh, proper San Diego, I live on the outskirts, and I'm glad I do. Not as many people around here. The thing that scares me a little bit about that event is that there's a time limit. You have to run at least a 15 minute mile and the course is hilly, just like it is here. So while I can run under a 15 minute mile, I proved that yesterday for eight miles, that's a whole different story. So I'm working with a coach and the coach is helping me. He's an amazing runner. Colin, coach Colin gave me a plan for this week, which included three miles today. Easy because it's recovery, but I'll also be working at fitness, mostly body weight fitness routine, but eventually some weights and various moves. Be doing stretching, getting myself stronger, more fit, and also continue with intermittent fasting and smart nutrition to get me in three months up to shape to run that eight mile. So going from three to eight, five more miles is a bit of a jump, but I know I can do it. If I've got it here in my mind, I know I can get my body to do it at least. And I'm convinced I can do it with the help of a coach who has trained many other people. Colin will be helping us train all the way up to the half marathon in November. He's also training my daughter, Kata, who will be joining us. So coach, this one's for you. <laughs> I'm out of breath now because I'm walking up my hill. I live on top of a steep as F hill. Oh man. This is the one thing I regret at the end of my runs. Going down is easy, but coming up, it's nuts. And one of my neighbors is a fitness fanatic. He's in impeccable shape. He runs up this thing every weekend, up and down and up and down throwing punches as he's going like a fighter, right? He's got no body fat. Amazing. Maybe that's in my future someday. Even just walking up this hill is not a, a mere feat for mortals. It's for the immortals. Yes. Walk up this hill and you're live forever. I like that idea. Well, thank you for hanging out with me this short video on a Monday. I hope you're all well again, watch from the link. If you haven't seen the video, yesterday's race, it was amazing. And it charged me up and inspired me for another round. We're on the cycle. Here we come. Getting back, getting back on the road. That's the story. I hope you're well. Let me know what you're up to in the comments. And if you haven't to yet, hit that subscribe button. Let me know how you're doing. Goodbye.